What's up, Twitter hands? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today we are doing something. I'm starting a new thing. We are going to do doing a weekly segment called Story Time, where I tell a different story each week of what I've gone through in USTA, ITF, college, stuff like that, so I can share my experiences with you. And the first one I want to talk about is how I lost to a crybaby. I haven't talked about this with a lot of people, but I just think the story's really funny. Uh, sometimes it just depends on who I talk to about it. After, a couple years ago, I talked to one of my former uh, friends at an academy I trained at here in Connecticut, and he told me, uh, and he told me what happened to the kid that uh, beat me, and I, I just had to share. I just had to share the story. So we're going way in the past, probably when I was about 12, 13 years old. I was playing a tournament at Sacred Heart University for USTAs. I forget what age group I was. It was probably like 12 or 14s. I was up a set, doing pretty well. It was six all in the second set. I won the first set. And this is the point where when a third set's a 10 point tiebreaker, so that way these kids, so kids can play shorter matches and that way they don't get too tired between rounds. At some point, he hits a ball long. I jump over the ball because it's clearly out. I don't, I don't know what he was thinking. I, yeah, it was two all, two all in the tiebreaker. And I jump over the ball. He, then we move to the next uh, side of the court. It's, he says three, two. I go, no, it's not. He goes, yes, it was. Uh, you didn't call the ball out. I'm like, it was clearly out. How come you didn't? And he goes, no, you didn't call it. It's my point. I go, no. And then I get my dad to get to call the tournament director because this is just some bullshit of anything. He's just trying to cheat me out. And then all of a sudden the tournament director comes over and goes, even you didn't call it out that's fine and then he misses we he gets a point it's three all now we switch sides next ball he hits hits it completely out kid just starts breaking down into tears he just grabs his throws his racket to his bag grabs his bag leaves the court i i stood there looking at my dad i went what's going on he left the kid left the court he walks up the stairs and just goes into the parking lot this kid's bawling his eyes out i've never I've never seen anything like that. And I'm waiting on the court for him to come back because I'm thinking maybe he got hurt, maybe something happened, I don't know. But I, I was way too nice when that happened because all of a sudden my dad just goes, grab your stuff, get off the court. I'm like, why? Isn't he coming back? He goes, no, he's not gonna come back. 10 minutes, about five, 10 minutes comes, goes by and the kid like comes back, puffy eyes. All of a sudden, they're like, I'm like, okay, what's happening? All of a sudden we're, it's 4-3 uh, me, he ends up winning the second set, and then somehow by some miracle, with my mental lapse as a 12 year old, I lose to this kid in the third set. After talking to my dad and my coach, they agreed, look, just when that happens, just leave the court. I just, it wasn't my idea. I just wanted to see if he was gonna be okay. That's not my problem, it's his own, his own mental. I mean, I couldn't believe it. And so when I told the tournament director, the tournament director even said, come get me next time you have to eat next time they'll just forfeit that that was too much and when i was leaving in the parking lot i saw the kid still crying i i don't know what was going on he was still crying he was on the curb his dad was yelling at him for acting so idiotic kind of fast forward to a couple years later where i'm i'm training at one of my first academies and this kid comes up to me and he goes did you hear about this kid i'm like no he goes he threw a fit threw his racket in the garbage, threw his bag, threw a giant fit, and the USTA suspended him for a whole year. He couldn't play any competitions. I go, wait, was he like a small blonde kid? Um, at, it was like a tournament in Sacred Heart. He goes, yeah, it was. I was like, I was the guy who played him. I, I was the guy that he threw a fit about. I didn't do anything wrong. He had his own personal agenda for j just being a little bitch. I, I honestly, I, I hope he figured out whatever was going on. Uh, nothing against him, but I still couldn't believe I lost that match, and I couldn't believe that this kind of this happened. How do you lose to someone that does that? I I don't know if that's on me. I, leave a comment down below to see what you would to let me know what you do in this situation. I, I personally, I was young. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my first story time. Uh, I don't know when it's gonna be 
uh, throughout the week, but I'll be posting a new one each week as well as other videos that I'll be doing interviews, more content throughout the week as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know what kind of stories you want to hear as well, um, whether or not from college and whatever. Make sure to check us out on all our social media, guys, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure to check all of those out. Make sure to follow us on our new Instagram as well, Tweenerhead Tennis, so make sure you do that. Check out our website as well at tweenerheadtennis.com. We just put up hoodies as well. If you want to get a hoodie, make sure to go check that out. They're really comfy, really soft. I think you'll love them, guys. Make sure to do that, and I hope to see you guys very, uh, very soon. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as well. Thanks, guys. See you soon. Leave a comment and a like down below. Make sure to subscribe.